Shalom. I'd like to say all praises due unto Yahweh. Ba Hashem Yahushai. Ba Hashem Rakah Kodash. The um, you know, Holy Spirit. Alright, Rakah Kodash is the Holy Spirit. And uh, we're in uh, serious and, uh, you know, sc scary times, you know. And, uh, you know, we're approaching the hour of temptation. We see what they're doing with this whole, uh, this whole uh, NWO or the uh, world, what do you call it? Yeah, like the World Economic Forum, you know, and all these different councils, you know, where uh, all these leader, world leaders, they assemble, you know, um, see a couple of weeks ago what they did uh, over here, you know, over Mount Sinai, you know, when uh, all these, uh, like all these religious uh, leaders, you know, they went up to uh, Mount Sinai you know and basically uh you know you had like the uh people who's uh, into the catholicism islam um uh, buddhist you know all kind of different religions they all were there you know and uh, basically uh you know what they're doing is uh one world religion uh a global or one one a global one world government you know and uh there's nothing new under the sun this is the same thing what nimrod tried to assemble you know basically uh you know after uh you know after the flood you know noah you know he only had uh you know his sons Shem, Ham, and Japheth, their wives, and Noah and his wife, so only eight souls survived. But uh, after the flood, um, the earth was repopulated, and then uh, basically, uh, let's get it. Cause there's nothing new under the sun. And this is gonna be just a short lesson in the spirit, Lord's will. Uh, Genesis. 11 and 1 a universal language but ball confusion right this place is confusion you know uh, all these nations they're here you know um you know in america you know canada you know and uh, speaking different tongues you know but they speak one language right with uh with uh symbols you know and uh you know and uh you know this english you know and basically they're all on code you know on universal language right you know body language and uh you know this is why uh a wicked uh could get that one second now i'm gonna go back to this because uh, it's a lot of wickedness, man, that's being done. Proverbs 6, verse 12. A naughty person, a wicked man, walketh with a forward mouth. All right, that's, uh, you know, Esau. You know, they're the most proud, you know. That's why uh, I think Jeremiah uh, 49 and uh, Obadiah said, uh, you know he's the most proud you know neither uh, he keep it at home you know so you saw he goes throughout the whole world man through his wickedness man he winketh with his eyes he speaketh with his feet he teacheth with his fingers and this is why uh with this world you know this world is uh basically uh this world is based off of uh, witchcraft and with symbols, you know, and uh, if you're not a part of it and you don't understand, they basically speak in secret, you know, with their symbols, you know, their craft, right? And, uh, you know, 
so uh you know like they like like they have a body language they speak with body language and uh symbols you know so uh that's why it's good to uh you know read books about uh understanding body language you know and ultimately uh the scriptures is the ultimate you know it gives us you know that knowledge you know uh you know proverbs you know and uh ecclesiastes and the whole scriptures you know it gives us uh like it gives us um that discretion you know how to move in this world because uh we it said we wrestle not against flesh and blood but against principalities against spiritual wickedness in high places all right so uh you know like this is what they they speak you know with their symbols he wink he winketh with his eyes and he speaketh with his feet and teacheth with his fingers right? and that's why uh you know they do this you know this stuff so even if they might speak in uh chinese whatever uh english you know like they might not be able to uh speak to one another you know but they speak with their symbols or right? and it's all the same uh language genesis 1 and 11 and the whole earth was of one language and one speech right and this was after the flood where for nimrod he uh basically he was like the leader you know of uh you know of the world you know and basically uh they he he was uh he says he was a mighty hunter you know so um you know basically everyone spoke in, everyone spoke one language which was hebrew until the angel the lord he's uh like like we're gonna read it and it came to pass as they journeyed from the east that they found a place in the land of shinar and they dwelt there and they said one to another to make brick and burn them thoroughly all right so that's why uh you know they went up because they thought that maybe if the lord's gonna flood the earth again you know th that they're gonna go on a uh, high you know high ground you know and to build you know and um you know and basically uh you know like they were building right you know all these different nations and they uh you know and ultimately you know there was a rebellion against the sons of god you know and this is what they're doing now right unto uh the children of israel you know that they're rebelling against you know the sons of god you know and uh you know but the you know what we're going to continue to read and they had brick for stone and slime had they for mortar and they said go to and let us build us a city and a town whose top may reach unto heaven let us make a name let lest we scatter abroad upon the face of the earth right? so that's why he built a city you know um you know a tower you know and basically uh you know high altitude and basically uh you know it was a rebellion you know against the against the heavenly father because uh the most high you know and the, the things what they're trying to do you know they're trying to rebel right because you know um you know this earth you know is was is only given unto the sons of god right abraham adam you know the sons of god you know noah you know shem you know out of that line came uh, our fact set you know abraham isaac jacob the 12 patriarchs so we come from a, a royal bloodline you know and they want to uh basically um like let they want to do away with the nation of israel right especially with the elect because we're waking wake, we, we, that we're waking up as to who we are lest we scatter abroad upon the face of the whole earth and the lord came down to see the city and the tower which the children of men buildeth 
right so you know the heavenly father right he was uh observing you know and uh you know they're building that city you know that tower you know and basically uh you know the lord he was displeased with it so that we're going to continue to read and the lord said behold the people is one and they have one one language right so they were speaking that hebrew right and uh, one language and they said and they and this they begin to do and now nothing will be restrained from them which they have imagined to do this is what they want to do for the whole nwo the world economic forum you know and basically uh you know order of the chaos you know destroy rebuild this is what they want to do and uh they want to population control they want to reduce uh, the world's the world population you know they say uh the world population has over 800 billion people who's are uh, living you know here on earth they want to reduce it to 500 million so it means that uh there's gonna be a lot more deaths a lot more things and uh you know next couple of years they're gonna be rolling this whole 6g man you know uh you know whether it's gonna be this year or the next couple of years but they're building up you know that because they already have the 5g the towers you know throughout um you know throughout here in america and canada and throughout the world you know and uh they're doing a lot of wickedness go to let us go down and there confound their language that they may not understand one another's speech and this is why the lord you know yahweh you know he sent his uh angels you know and basically he confounded their language so they couldn't uh you know like they couldn't uh like they didn't have that enterprise because they were able to speak that language right and basically uh that whole sh that whole plan you know uh was uh none in effect you know so the lord scattered them abroad from the face of all the earth and they left off to build a city therefore is the name of it called babel right, which means uh confusion because the lord did their confound the language of all the earth and from thence did the lord scattered them abroad upon the face of the earth you know and like that's why uh you know china would have been in the land of iraq you know but basically uh you know they had to go uh go abroad elsewhere you know into the different lands all right where uh shem ham you know Japheth, you know and uh basically that didn't work so uh what they're gonna try to do they're gonna try to do the same thing right but it's not you know that's not gonna work either because there's gonna be a great destruction a great destruction there's gonna be uh you know world war three you know um yeah i'm not gonna play this but this is off of uh a time for judgment i was watching the brother from the uk he was uh, going into it into this uh, video and this is a very good video even though these people are uh, insiders you know they get a lot of views and stuff and they are part of this just like alex jones and stuff right you know so they're all uh, insiders you know they just control opposition all right uh, this is a good video uh the world economic forum sickening agenda for 2023 and um there's a guy i was watching um i normally see him on my uh timeline um what's this guy's name so uh, uh so-called pastor all right but uh you know these guys are just control oppositions you know he has his sign you know into the no so these guys they're all uh, control opposition but basically uh you know because ultimately um you know like these guys weren't really going into this stuff you know until the until uh the israelites you know the apostles 
you know, and the one Westers was going to it because uh, basically uh, Pasta Hart was going to this stuff from in the 80s, man. You know, with under, uh, you know, like tool, like under toolage under, uh, with, uh, you know, because Pasta Hart was under, um, you know, High Priest Arya, you know, and they would uh, sit, you know, read certain, they would go, they read certain books like, uh, Behold a pale horse, you know, I think with the uh, Forgot the guy named Cooper William Cooper whatever and basically uh, You know, he was talking about that stuff like they wrote up like there's a books There's a couple books, you know, and they're going into the whole uh, The whole karagma, you know with the whole uh, everyone's gonna be sea hipped and uh, Basically, we're we're living in that you know, with uh, the whole narrow link, the C hip. You know, um, this is uh, you could put this like digital system announce with this guy Frank's person. You know, like these guys are just control opposition. You know, you see he has over almost a hundred thousand views. You know, so you know he has his hand. You know, um, you know, like the hidden, the hidden hand. You know, so. Uh, you know, so these people they speak with their their body language, their their uh, you know like this is how they you know it's like this is how they commune to um you know so uh, this world is corrupt man. Psalm eighty three and one, a song uh, a song or psalm of Asap. Keep not thou silence, O Yahweh. Hold not thy peace. Be not still, O Yahweh, for lo, thy enemies make a tumult, and they that hate thee have lifted up the head, right? And they hate the Israelites, you know, they hate the 12 tribes of Israel, and they hate the elect, all right, who's going out here on the highways and byways, right, who's uh, telling our people to repent, you know, and we're teaching our, we're teaching our people the, our nationality, because our national because we are our nationality was stolen from us read uh, ezekiel 37 all right the dry bones are are uh, alive you know they're living now you know so we're going out there highways and by we're making our in-class videos you know going live you know soon you won't be able to uh be able to be uh like you won't be able to even uh be on the internet you know everything's gonna be censored and uh you know that's why when i was a child i always liked uh that movie demolition man with wesley snipes and uh like with wesley snipes and uh uh the guy who played rocky uh forgot his name right now you know and basically uh we're living in this demolition man if you guys haven't uh, watched it, you know, if you guys, uh, you know, this is a very good, uh, you know, movie to watch. If you haven't, so yeah, if you watch this with uh, Sylvester Stallone, you know, and basically, uh, you know, there's gonna be, uh, you know, lawlessness and chaos, here, and uh, basically, uh, you know, people are gonna be. You know, you're going to be an outlaw. We're going to be outlaws, you know, in this society. Because basically, uh, you know, this is their plan, you know. And uh, this is fucked up, man. That's why the Lord's going to have to have, he's going to have to save his elect. All right. And because uh, we're approaching the hour of temptation, man. They take crafty counsel against the, thy people and consult it against thy hidden ones, right? So what they're doing, their uh, World World Economic Forum, um, you know, all these different forums and meetings, what they do, you know, that, uh, you know, for the whole, uh, you know, the whole new era, you know, with, uh, you know, like this is what they're trying to do to have an uh, enterprise, right? Uh, Job 20 go to that you know 
for they have said come and let us cut them off from being a nation that the name of israel may be no more remembrance right remember israel's at the sand the sea man so even though they want to try to uh have this agenda to uh depopulate and to enslave you know the israelites it's not gonna work and they know all right but this is what they uh it says uh we're gonna get psalms too then i'm gonna close it's getting late but it said, uh, Psalms 2 and 1, why do the heathen rage and the people imagine a vain thing? So yeah, so what they want to do with this whole uh, World Economic Forum and this whole agenda, you know, what they want to do with these world leaders, they have taken crafty counsel, right? And uh, basically it's vain because uh, ultimately, you know, the Lord's going to come, you know, and... Uh, you know with his uh his uh daniel 12 and 1 you know michael you know uh you know he's gonna be uh he's gonna stand for the children of israel and uh basically like yahweh shy you know he's gonna come all right second uh ezra 13 and 1 it goes into that why the heathen rage and the people imagine a vain thing the kings of the earth set themselves and the rulers take counsel together against the lord and against his anointed so against the heavenly father right the lord you know and against his anointed which is yahweh Sai, saying let us break their bands asunder and cast away their cords from us right so that with the 12 tribes right because we see uh the tribes are already here you know in the americas right north you know north you know with uh north from that with the uh the whole native Amer so-called native americans you know the seminoles you know, um, Ishakar or uh, you Mexicans, you know, and the 12 tribes, right? Which is uh, Central, South America, the Caribbean, you know, they want to, you know, that come up, you know, that they want to come against God's chosen. He that safe in the heaven shall laugh, the Lord shall have them in derision. So, this is why. You know, we know that the Lord's gonna have mercy on us, right? Because, uh, because they feel like you know, like they're gonna have the final, uh, the final hearsay, but it's not gonna work. All right, and uh, we're approaching um, the hour of temptation, right? So uh, we gotta stay uh, rooted. You know, things is gonna get. It's gonna be a bumpy ride. You know, like to get into the kingdom of heaven right so uh, the lord's gonna try our our reins all right uh, if i can't find it yeah psalms or slack of revelation 3 and uh, 10 because thou hast kept the word of my patience I will also keep thee from the hour of temptation which shall come upon all the world to try them that dwell upon the earth. So we're going to be tried, right? But, um, you know, basically, uh, you know, so that wisdom and knowledge is going to be the stability of our times, right? So, um, you know, we're going to be like the book of Eli, right? Watch that movie with Denzel Washington. That word, you know, like that you know like this you know like these words that we're reading and we're broadcasting is going to have to be in us because we're going to be in all kind of different situations or, and we're going to be tried i will also keep thee from the hour of temptation which shall come upon all the world to try them that dwell upon the earth behold i come quickly hold that fast which thou hast that no man take that crown so yeah so we gotta live this world word and uh basically uh you know endure you know that uh you know that no man take that crown right you know so you know so like no one take your understanding no one want to uh you know give you a c hip or uh neural link and all that because we're approaching these times him that overcome if will i make a pillar in the temple of my power and he shall go no more out and i will write upon him the name of my power and the name of the city of my my god with which is the new jerusalem which shall come down from heaven so that's when you know when yahweh shai 
right when you go and uh, i think in uh second Ezra says that when the lord comes he's gonna crown you know psalms uh since psalms or uh, second address 13 right the lord's gonna crown you know the elect you know those who uh stood so stiffly for the name of the lord you know for the word of his testimony and uh basically uh you know that jerusalem is gonna be built you know basically uh we're gonna have uh servants who's gonna you know they're gonna have to you know like they're gonna have a lot of jobs to do second um ezekiel 39 you know because uh there's gonna be great destruction in the west throughout um uh you know the babylon aka america and um israel right and um you know a lot of destruction throughout the world you know and basically uh jerusalem's you know like they're gonna have to rebuild that you know which is the new jerusalem which shall come down from other heaven from 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 my power and i'll write upon him that we, i'll write upon him my new name right so you know when the lord comes he's gonna he's gonna you know basically like we know his name already all right because uh uh, I think Proverbs uh, like 28 it says um, who know if let's get it then I'm gonna close I think Proverbs 28 It says that what is his name what is thy name what is that his son's name if thou can tell yeah uh proverbs 30 and uh three i neither learn wisdom nor have the knowledge of the holy whoso ascendeth up into heaven or ascendeth it's like or descendeth who have ga uh, gathered the winds in his fist who's um who have bound the waters in a guard in a guard uh, garment who have established all the ends of the earth so this is the heavenly father yahweh you know then his son in, you know like on uh, like yahweh shai you know who's the architect you know and then uh you know you know his elect the angels you know and then the principalities on the left you know this is all the heavenly father right so um it said the deceive i think it's in uh galatians it says the deceiving and the deceiver is his so this is the heavenly father show what is his name and what is his son's name if thou can tell so if you, that's what um if you don't uh have those passwords or those names all right and if you're not uh shielded and uh you know the lord's not he's not gonna protect you right because he's not you know if you call upon jesus or god you know like you have to know his name in hebrew all right and uh you know you, you can't call him any other you can't call him no random name you know, like you have to really know that name and uh you know and basically uh you have to be of the elect all right because that's why the lord says uh, that many are called few are chosen so this is ultimately the heavenly father who is gonna uh like who already knows who is elect is you know from the foundation of the world who is the him and what is his name if thou can tell every word of yahweh is pure he is a shield unto them that put their trust in him right so this is you know like this is gonna be you know his elect right and he's gonna uh he's gonna put his trust in his elect right because those who's gonna um get the see it you know to uh you know to go and uh, to go into the world and you know for the goodies and whatever it's really uh all in vain because because you, you trust in man right it says um it said blesses them it says um you shouldn't put your trust in man i think what it's all i think it says um it's in jeremiah it says curse be the man that trusts in man so you can't put your trust in man 
And like you have to put your trust in the Heavenly Father, Yahweh and Yahweh Shai. Alright, and this is a faith thing. Alright. So with that, I'd like to say our praises do unto Yahweh, Bahashem Yahushai, Bahashem Rakakwadash, the Lord of the Apostles of GMS. Hopefully this video is edifying. These guys, you could find some of these, I find their videos, you know, these guys are uh, insiders, you know, but uh, they have these big platforms, you know, like you don't even see, uh, you know, like the apostles don't have these big views. So it shows you that these guys are all uh, insiders, you know what I mean? And then the, the, this one is a good one too. Um, a time of a time for judgment a time of judgment the world economic forum is sickening agenda for uh, 2023 so uh, we gotta brace ourselves this is this is just beginning so uh you know you know that we're gonna see what uh february and march are gonna bring man because march is gonna be um uh the god of uh march is basically the god of war you know so there's you know so a lot of things is gonna happen man so with that we gotta brace ourselves man so with that let us say our praises do unto yahweh ba'ashim yahweh shai ba'ashim hopefully this video is edifying